Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Now, our next guest is a travel adventurer, extraordinary entertainer, and he returns to Africa in August of 2013 for a 15,000-kilometer motorcycle adventure. Now, this man is no stranger to the African continent and, indeed, South Africa and Cape Town. And as I said, he's going to be taking a couple of people on this crazy adventure uh, that starts off in Cape Town North. It's then going to go to the skeleton coast of Namibia and then onwards to uh, the smoke that thunders Victoria Falls in Zambia. And that's just put to mention a little bit of it. But let's meet the man and find out a bit more about the adventures of Mr. Charlie Borman. How are you, man? Good to see you. Yeah. Welcome, welcome <laughs> to the show. It's great to have you here, especially ahead of this, I think, epic adventure of your life, 15,000 kilometers. What, what brings you here to the yeah, African country? Uh, well, well, I mean, um, you know, Africa is one of those places where uh, ab about, you know, seven or eight years ago, I went, I traveled through Africa with yes, you and McGregor, yes. and we did a TV show called Long Way Down. Mm -hmm. And um, and having done Long Way Around before, yeah, this was this was us there. And, and I kind of sort of fell in love with the place and, 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 and have sort of tried to find ways of getting back all the time. And, and, and because of the TV show, uh, people have always said, oh, Charlie, you know, it'd be great to ride with you th through Africa or somewhere. And I thought, oh, wouldn't it be a good idea to start a tour and, and, and get a bunch of people down and, and kind of share the experience. So, yeah. so what we do now is we go from Cape Town, as you said, all the way up through South Africa, and maybe up to, up to, uh, up to uh, Victoria Falls. Mm -hmm. and, and, um, and we take about 20 guys. Wow. And, on motorcycles? Uh, on, on motorcycles, all on BMWs. And, and, we, uh, and it's all off-road, all oh, gravel really, yeah. roads. Oh, this was a little a, wave? A little, yeah. But, um, so, and, and that's the idea, and to give people that But what's fantastic about it is, you know, you, you drive around roads in Europe, mm -hmm. and you, you, you may get a cat or a dog crossing the road. But whereas here, <laughs> you know, I've done it before. We've been in Namibia, and you come over a brow of a hill, and I had a couple of riders with me at the time, and came over, and there were 40 elephants just walking across the road. So you had to stop and wait yeah. for, these, for these elephants and to cross the road. And what a magnificent sight that is. Yeah, I mean, you've got this big m female dominant um, elephant the ears flapping at you, and you're only, you know, you're only 20, 30 feet away. And then there's the occasional sheep as well. Okay, well, yeah. that was in Australia, yeah. as, as you can imagine. I don't know what Australians do with their sheep, but, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, um, but it is an amazing experience. And you've got kudu and eland and dig dick and all sorts of animals just crossing the road. Little warthogs come running past. So yeah. it's, it's, you know, not only are you trying to stay on the road on these gravel roads, which, um, you're, you, you know, you have to deal with all the wildlife as well. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, Ewan's not going to be here with you during this adventure. He's, like you were saying, of being an A-list actor as he does. But <laughs> how, how has your career changed, you know, from, from entertainer to, to being adventurer extraordinaire? Yeah. And how, how do you work it out right now? Well, I mean, for me, I mean, I, I grew up in the film industry. My father's a, is, a, is a film director, a guy called John Borman, mm. and he directed films like Deliverance and Escalade and Hope and Glory, and as children, we were always thrown into his movies yes. um, uh, um, as cheap cannon fodder. You know, he said, why, <laughs> why employ children when I've got four of them? And so that, there's that there. But, but uh, oh, so, so the first film I was ever in was, was a Deliverance. Yes. So I wasn't the banjo player, just in case anybody wants to know. <laughs> but, um, uh, and then I kind of went from there, and then I met Ewan on the film set, and then, then we started doing these, these, these travel things. And then Just as, as, as a bit of a, well, As a mates? bit of fun. I mean, yeah. we both love motorcycles, and we both thought, well, wouldn't it be great to do a big, long trip? Yeah. And, and, um, and, then, and then we convinced some people to, to give us the money to go and do it. And, and we thought, oh, we'd, just have a, we'd just have a diary of what, of what we did, and no one would be that bothered about watching it. And, um, and, and for some reason, it kind of sparked an interest in people, and, wow. and, and, it, and it started to do very well. But because of that, I, I ended up doing the Dakar Rally, I ended up doing Long wow. Way Down with you, and then we, we've done six or seven other TV shows. Extreme, we, we just finished one um, last year here in South Africa called Extreme Frontiers South yes. Africa, which is now playing in 28 different countries around the world and, and, and showing the beauty of South Africa and stuff. And we did crazy things from cage shark diving to, to sucking diamonds off the seabed to going down gold mines, climbing mountains. Mate, you you make life sound things. so much fun. I mean, some of us are working, some people are, have to wake up and go to the office, but this is well, like you guys have to wake life. up at five, four or five yeah, in the morning. I mean, that sucks. We don't mind you know? that. We get to talk to people like you. But I tell you what, there's another you in here who's dying to, to, to talk to you about your adventures. I think oh, he's as adventurous a person as Ewan McGregor himself. But uh, before we do that, I think let's introduce uh, Charlie here to a South African firm favorite that he might encounter on his journey, the Lacquer Cook Sister. <laughs> 